Now this is supposed to be a jail that has a demon inside. We should have left, honest to God. They gave us plenty of signs, get the, get the heck out of here. But finally he got mad, I got fed up. It just looked like there was a really cold signature on top of the rim pod. Are you a demon now? I didn't like being in here alone. Like, you know, you get the feeling someone's watching you. It just said it was hiding. But there is some darker forces here. What's going on guys? We are here for a brand new video from Bridgeport, Illinois. Now this is supposed to be a jail that has a demon inside. What do you think about that, Savannah? Okay, from the things I've heard, I'm a little scared. You went live here and I wasn't part of that, but what you caught makes me really nervous to go in there. So, I'm gonna post what we caught the last time I was here, but what it actually came across was F-U-P-U-S-S-Y. It was so clear too. Like, clearest EVP I have caught to date has been from this building, and we were kinda just like hanging out that night just investigating for fun. But now, tonight, we're gonna try and go in and get some answers, so we're gonna interview the owner, Tony or Anthony, whatever he wants to go by, <laughs> and we're gonna see kind of what he knows about this building, what he's experienced here, because I know that he's had some crazy experiences in this building. So let's go ahead and uh, go talk to him. But guys, look at how creepy this building looks. Like it just emits the spooky, like dark. Like it looks like something out of a horror film. It, it really does. Like all the windows are boarded up. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere. Um, super quiet out here. We do know there's at least two deaths in the building and we'll let him tell about those deaths. Isn't there a Ouija board in there too? There's also in a <laughs> closet. There is a Ouija board. There's a Ouija board that's like from the 1940s in here. So you've got Ouija boards, demons, people have been attacked in this building. I don't know what to expect tonight, but guys, let's go ahead and jump into this interview and we're going to see what he has to say. But before we do that, if you've found yourself back on my channel more than once, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on all of your notifications so you know when I post a video. I almost just ate it, but let's go do this interview. All right, guys, we are here with the owner of the Old City Jail. Tony, go ahead and introduce yourself for us. Hey, Anthony here, one of the owners, uh, me and my wife of the Old City Hall and Jail. Firstly, is what do you know about this building history-wise? Why do you believe it to be haunted? I guess would be the first question. Uh, history-wise, we'll go back to the time before the fire of 1913, which was Bridgeport, Illinois. Here, um, the property, the uh, the home that stood here belonged to Dr. C.M. Lewis. That was on this where you're standing right now mm -hmm. before the fire of 1913. And it belonged to Dr. C.M. Lewis and his family. But on June 13th, 1913, yes, Friday the 13th, 1913. Oh, wow. There was a fire that swept through Bridgeport, burnt down over half the town of Bridgeport. It's multiple, uh, how did it happen? There's multiple things I know. One, uh, one of the stories is one of the blacksmiths is Amber caught the right wind and it wound up blowing. The amber and just catching, you know, and they wind up catching the half the Everything on fire, yeah. yeah. Now, I know this is just hearsay on this right here, and I don't, I don't necessarily have to, I'm not, I don't have any documentation of this. Mm -hmm. I found this out recently. So, uh, and I don't know, because there's so much layers of history here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's so much layers of history here, and it's hard to tie it all in. But there was a motel that stood back here, and it burned down. And I heard some people pass away, but I'm not verifying that to be true. Gotcha. So that's just something that you kind of heard. That's what I heard. Haven't been able to document it yet, yeah, that's but that's something yeah. they've kind of tied to this place yeah. as well. That could be, you know, that's just a lot. That's a lot of people talking. Mm -hmm. uh, but the stuff that I do know that's happened here since then, uh, they built the old city jail, the old city jail here in City Hall in its place after 1913. And some of the occurrences that's here, that's taking place uh, on the second floor, mm -hmm. uh, Lester James passed away with a heart attack. He was he, a sheriff, right? He was a senior police officer okay. here. Uh, when he was a younger man, uh, he was a little, a little wild with the drinking. That's what I was told. What I was told, he was actually incarcerated in this jail, and later on became the senior police officer here. That's a bit of a comeback story, there, ain't it? It is a bit of a comeback story, and uh, I believe. Uh, I believe Lester James to be one of the good guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm even getting cold chills. One of the good spirits here, you mean? One of the good spirits. Okay. Talking. But there is some darker forces here. I truly believe that. I mean, I mean, there's some stuff here that uh, 
does not want you to be here. Simple as that. And one of those guys' names is uh, that I nicknamed Macho Man. How I gave this entity its name is because he was bossing. Uh, I kept going through spirit box session, multiple investigations here. It all tied into um, uh, him bossing some some man bossing or some entity bossing the woman around telling her not to talk. Mm -hmm. And I said, what are you, a macho man, you know? I said, I said, I hear you uh, bossing this woman around, macho man, you know, that's how I came. It just, I didn't give him the, you know, I gave him the Kind of just like a nickname that you kind of threw out there. Just threw stuff. it out there, you know? Yeah. You, you think you're a macho man. And right after that, I swear to God, he scratched that girl with an upside down cross on her hand. Can you tell the story about that? Yeah, you can give him like a quick rundown. Uh, Austin uh, is his name, and uh, it was me, a fellow investigator of my team, Todd. Uh, he brought his family in, I brought my family in. Didn't really expect a whole, what to, that happened that night to happen. Let's mm -hmm. just face the facts. We did not expect all that to happen. Mm -hmm. But the kid got marked at the time. He said, I got touched. And I was like, did he really get touched? Because I was like, yeah, I said, that's cool, man, you know. <laughs> but five minutes later, everybody was like, oh my God, Austin, you got a mark on your hand. You got a mark on your wrist. I said, all right, I got to see this. So when I looked at his hand, I could not physically grab this kid that strong with my own pressure. My, I mean, so I'm a pretty strong that, guy. Something that touched him must have been pretty strong. Whatever touched him was powerful enough to, uh, it was a mark. I mean, it was like a burn mark with a hand print. Somebody grabbed his wrist. Tell you with Macho Man, and this ain't no shit. Like, you was challenging him in a way. Mm -hmm. And whenever you challenge this entity, uh, he will show himself. I mean, he will either come across on your spirit. One way or another, you're going to know come he's going to be here. You know he's going to be here. He's going to make his presence. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want me to tell you another incident that happened, I will. Uh, it was me, Todd, and Chubbs, another guy. I was up by there. He told us to leave four times. But okay. uh, Todd on the team, he kept pushing the envelope. Like, yeah. we should have left. Honest yeah. to God. They gave us plenty of signs. Get the, get the heck out of here. Uh, set equipment off, doing everything we asked him to do, but finally he got mad, uh, he got fed up. And Todd was like, I'm gonna give you a count to five, and when I reach five, I want you to basic, basically perform for me, yeah. then we'll leave. We didn't get to five, I swear to God. We was on the second floor, and I could show you that if you want me to. I didn't expect this to happen. It sounded like, how can I explain this? It sounded like an elephant charge, charging towards us. Like Enough to scare him. Huge, loud steps almost? Uh, it wasn't human. Like a trampling almost? Uh, like a trampling of an elephant. That, that That'd be loud. pretty freaky. That effing loud, it was charging towards the room. We heard uh, three, dis it was at least three steps, like solid, like. Yeah. That's us. That's us. That's us. There you, there you go. It was by, so much louder than that, I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would have scared the hell out of me, but the fact that it sounded like an elephant, I mean, yeah, we did got you guys. Did you guys dip out? Well, you sure in the hell right we did. <laughs> and uh, me and Todd was there. Chubbs and his wife, they took out of here first. There's four of us there that night. Mm -hmm. Three grown men. Me and Todd was fighting to see who was going to get out of here first. We was not fighting, but we was basically walking together down the stairway. That's how scared we was. I don't think a regular spirit has that kind of power. Yeah, I mean, as I've said, I've never caught anything that clear come through. Even going to some of the craziest places in the world, whatever came through that device was not happy. And it, it was responding directly to being called out, which... It seems like the more you put into this place and the more you try and press this entity, the more it pushes back. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna lash out. If you try, if you try to demand anything from, uh, yeah, let's face it, he's stuck with the name Macho Man. Yeah. I mean. That's what he, that's what he reacts to too, because that's, that's what, what he I reacts said. To. So. I mean, if you, if you, uh, if you push him, he, I, I feel like he will come back out. If he's gonna, if he's gonna either come out here, he's gonna come out when you leave here. He's gonna come back out. 
Well, I'm gonna try and push this guy because that's what we're in the business of doing is pissing stuff off, living or dead. Well, uh, one more thing here before we leave. Okay. Uh, you heard, you know about the guy on the second floor that hung himself. I did cell. not know that. Did not know that. Uh huh. Um, so in yeah. that little cell block area, there's a man that hanged himself in there. Yeah, in that cell block, uh, when you walk into the left, mm -hmm. uh, a gentleman took his life there. Yeah. So you've got. I don't know. I do not know his name. You've got him. You've also got um, Lester James. Lester James that passed away. So that's at least two confirmed deaths inside of this building. Yeah. And then you have the motel possibility in the back. And you've also got the house fire that occurred here. Okay, so I know we were trying to move on to the investigation, but he had one other story that he was trying to hold off camera, but I told him that would be a valuable piece of information from us. So from what he was saying is they've had psychics come into this space as well as you've had equipment even confirming I've this. had equipment confirming uh, that an individual got beat to death here by two cops. And that's what he said on the SB7 spirit box. Okay. Specifically said two cops broke my ribs and I died right here. That's what he said. That's pretty that's crazy. as simple as, I mean, I can't. So that's I'm not something sure that they wouldn't in. document even. Yeah. But if you, you're having people come in and they're, and they're picking up on that. Yeah. And then you're picking up on equipment. I mean. Yeah. Who knows? It really could be somebody that was Never killed know. right here. So that's something else that we can keep in mind tonight. Um, it always helps to have those pieces of information because yeah. you never know what we might stumble upon. But now we are officially starting the investigation. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to do a quick walkthrough of this place so you guys can get a feel for the layout and we can kind of also get a feel for the environment, see if there's anything that sticks out, and also go over some of the areas that... Anthony mentioned in the interview. So first off, this is where they thought for the man to be, or they thought the man was beaten by two police officers, was inside of here. And if, sorry, a whistle. Yeah, I kind of heard that too. Anyways, so, um, and you're probably wondering why I'm walking around with this big A speaker. We have a new device that's gonna be making a debut on the channel tonight. It is an audio processor that I use with a spirit box and we can actually rewind if something comes to the spirit box. So it's gonna be a huge addition to the channel. Um, we'll have to carry this around so we can hear it very well, but that's gonna make its debut tonight. Um, I don't even have a light. Can Savannah. you see kind of? Savannah is my light source right now. Yeah. But these just look like some kind of, almost like an urbex abandoned feel with this place. It's in rough shape. It isn't, yeah, you can see here like, the stairs and stuff are in pretty rough shape. They feel fairly sturdy though. Sturdy feel fine. Yeah. It's a little hot. It's a wee bit warm. Each level you go up gets hotter. But this is the second floor and I think he also said there's a Ouija board in here. Ooh, there it is. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> so he said that he actually used to have that at home and he started having stuff happen so they brought it here to get it out of his house so we might have to bust that out that's an old one yeah it's a 1940s era Ouija board interesting it's got a smell in here yeah let's uh let's put this down really quick in here uh-huh and then we can do a quick walk around second and third floor. Okay. This is the room that Lester James died in. So if you remember him saying the senior officer with a heart attack, that's this room. What did that room used to be? I don't know, maybe like an office? I'm not 100% I'm not sure what it was, but I know that's where Lester James died. And then this is the cell the man hanged himself in. But I do remember the first time I came, he said they don't know if it was he hanged himself or if he was killed. Mm -hmm. And they framed it like he hanged himself. Um, so maybe that could be a set of series of questions we could ask and try and get a response is, yeah. did, did you hang yourself or did someone kill you? Yeah. So that's, this is one area I do want to spend some time in tonight. And then Lester James's room where we just were is another area. And then where I got the most interaction with Macho Man was the third floor. That's where we got that super creepy EVP that 
Um, I'm gonna play for you guys right now. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna go upstairs, third floor. I'm gonna show you guys the area we caught the EVP and we did have the Ouija board out when we caught it. So I don't know if there's something attached to the Ouija or if it was the combination of the Ouija board and this building, but tonight I'm gonna try and piss off whatever is here because that's what I'm known for and that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I'm a little afraid for you to piss something off. You always get drugged into these, don't you? <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, I was here when you went live, but I wasn't in here, so I don't really know what to expect. Well, ow. What, what, what? I hit that. <gasps> what is that? Pipe. Ooh. Oops. You're right at the height. I'm like a little nervous. Wow, this is very, um, urbex. Here, I have the camera. Okay, I'm up. Alright. You're not walking under a lot of bad ones. Well, what about walking beside one? I don't know. It's like a stage. Looks like a courthouse almost. Yeah, kind of. Oh, like um. Because this was City Hall. Jury like sat there maybe or something? Mm, I don't know about a jury. Or like, I don't know. Maybe some like city officials or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this right here is the spot that we had the EVP come through. We were sitting here asking questions. This is. Macho Man! A little dust on your shirt there. Hey, speaking of new shirt. KGH cow. Do you see the resemblance? Do you see? KalaniMerch.com. Get you some. Anyways, back into this. We were sitting here. We had the EVP come through. I was ecstatic. Chat was ecstatic. Still the clearest EVP I've caught to date. So we're gonna try and get that again tonight. It feels kind of flat in here right now, I will be honest but hopefully with me poking the bear a little bit and Savannah being here, we get something going, something riled up. The me guys, being scared, there's always something for them to feed off of. Oh, I just saw a street light and thought it was a light. <laughs> okay, so we finished the walkthrough. This place is not very big. It's, it's kind of a small building, but it's just me and Savannah in here. There's no one else in the building. But I think I wanna start in the room that Lester James passed away in and see if by using that new portal almost, that new spirit box processor combo, that we can have something come through and communicate with us. So, so it takes a minute to get this portal uh, or spirit box processor set up. So we're gonna go ahead and cut really quick and then jump right into the investigation when I have it all set up. And we're gonna start here in the room that Lester James passed away in. Okay guys, so this is that new piece of equipment. So it's actually Bluetooth linked to my SV11. But what's really cool about this is it's got a high pass filter. It's got essentially a noise gate as well as waveform. And we can also slow down recordings as well as play back the previous 10 seconds. So it has given us the playback functionality to a spirit box session that we didn't have before. So now we can actually use this, cut some of that static out and see if they have anything to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up. And then we're gonna put on our noise filter and as you can see it starts cutting some of our static there and then we have on our high pass filter to get out some of those super bassy tones all right is there anything here that would like to come forward and communicate with us Where's Macho Man? We're not afraid of you. We're currently sitting in here in the room that Lester James took his last breath. Lester, are you here? Just 
come to this device right here and try and speed through this device if you can. Macho man, where you at? Who's that? I'm replaying it, let's see. Let us go. One more time, we'll play it back. That is what it sounds like. like. It says, let us go. Is there something trapping you here? A very low voice, I couldn't make it out. Yeah. Can you try and speak a little bit clearer? So it's back up to 100% uh, speed now. I don't think you're a real demon. I think you're a wannabe. I think I heard a knock by me. That Who was that? Come here? Where are you at? Ooh. I heard like a big knock. What was that? Where are you at? Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> I saw you jump, so I jumped. Very faint. How many entities are here with us? Where are you at, Macho Man? Play that back. Couldn't make it out. No. I slowed it down a little bit. Wait, what did that say? I'm here? I'm here or come out. If you're here, can you make that device in the doorway go off? What did that say? Did a man hang himself in the cell block here? What was that? Let me 
just slow it down and turn it down some? But that sounds like something's trying to come through. That's a very deep voice. Uh huh. You know what it sounds kind of like? Huh. I don't know if I can say it. F N P U S S Y. You heard that? I didn't hear that. Listen to it. Think about that and listen to it again. Well, it's already gone now. Dang. I mean, it's really chalky. Can you try and speak clearer? Definitely a man. Okay. I think I'm ready to maybe try out the DR60. Yeah. See if you can get. This is good. cool, but it's like it takes so long to set it up. Um, Power. It is cool that you can. Rewind but I do it. think it's really cool that you can rewind, and I do think there's a few things there. Maybe. Nothing super super clear on it. The first time I used it was at the Monroe Demon House, and the responses we got were insanely clear. So we didn't have any of that like super, super clear stuff, but it's cool that we can rewind it. I'm gonna put the flux out in the hallway area. Okay. And maybe we'll try the DR60 in here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, since you had good luck with that. I'm thinking maybe I should pull that Ouija board out and just put it out. Cause that's when we got the really good responses the last time I was here. Yeah. I don't know if that has anything to do with the response that you got. It does feel like weird out here though. Does it? It feels like there's like something watching. I thought I heard a knock earlier. I did too. Okay, we're gonna let that calibrate. Can you come in here really quick? Uh-huh. I need that light so we can grab this one. You always find your way to a Ouija. I don't have much luck with them, like I always say. No, I know you don't, but. We had luck pulling this one out last time we were here, though. Did he say what was happening at his house when he had that at home? I don't remember exactly. He told me last time I was here, but he said it was enough for him to get it out of his house. <laughs> You guys know I'm not a fan of those. Savannah loves them. They're... Savannah plays with them on the toilet. Uh, what? I've seen her. Why would you tell people my biggest secret? Look guys, we, we're gonna have one coming to stores soon. <laughs> it's gonna be a Ouija bathroom mat so that as you're on the john, you can reach down and use the, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we do not have that. But if somebody takes my idea, you know, I I have, want half. I have seen Ouija bath mats. I want half. He wants half. We'll, we'll do 20%. 20%. Just cut me in something. Okay. Get on the angle. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, though. What's that? Something fell on the ground. So, you're going to play it or are you just going to put it out and see? I mean, I've tried to play this by myself a hundred times. Yeah. And a hundred times, I ain't got squat. So you're just gonna put it out and see. We're gonna, hang on. Take a look into my brown eye. Your eyes look really pretty right now. Look at the eyelashes. Be here all week, folks. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give them a little, little razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. We'll put it on. Okay, for kicks and giggles. Or for Kalani. Kicks and giggles. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. For anything that's in this building, we invite you to come forward into the room if you can hear my voice. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. Unless your name's Macho Man, then we mean you all the disrespect and harm. 
Um, but I just want to communicate with you. Macho man, if you'd like to measure de... I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> we all knew it. it. We can do that too. Here we go. We're just going to do open mic. So again, this recorder only records when it's picking up voices or noise. It does not record dead space. So when we start it, even if we were to record for an entire minute, it may only pull 10 seconds. So here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That eye contact there at the end with the tongue was a little bit uh, unsettling. <laughs> so we had 13 seconds come through. Let's see what we got. Super clear. No. Maybe we should ask some questions now. Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Just gonna pull the band aid off of this one really quick. Yeah. We're gonna pull the band aid off. Just three, two, one. All right, if you're a demon or a wannabe demon, come forward to this device and scream as loud as you can. Where's Macho Man? I don't think you're very scary. Questions poking the bear. Maybe he'll respond. Nothing. Nothing. Not squat. It's a mega wish demon. Can you, you can scratch me, you can hit me, you can pull my hair, you can float me. You can float, you can make me float, not float me. <laughs> can you make any of this equipment go off? Can you come towards this board that we have in the floor? Can you do anything? Can you make a loud knock? I'm gonna let it record over here. Okay. Cause maybe, with that being my hand maybe? Could be. So if there's anything you wanna say, in this seat right here, you'll be able to ask questions or answer questions. Whatever you want to do. Set.
Three, two, one. What was that? I don't know, it was like a knock. Yeah, I heard that. It sounded like it was behind you. What? What? I thought I heard something walking out there. Did you really? I hope we caught it on the mic, but I heard it. Say, I'm behind you? I'm behind you, did you hear it? Before you say step, it says something. Listen. I'm behind you. Oh wait, was that me? No, you said it, and then it says it again. I'm behind you. Oh, it does talk after I do. I thought I heard I'm behind you, but the rest was pretty quiet. Yeah. Let's try one more in this room. It seems kind of dead in here. Yeah. But we'll try. Let me call out to Lester James. Are you in this room? Can any of the entities that can hear my voice come through? and say the word banana. Is there a better room here for us to speak with you? Is there something attached to this Ouija board? Alright. Mr. James, are you in this room? Can any of the entities that can hear my voice come through and say the word banana? Is there a better room here for you? You don't think that was anything after banana? I heard it, but it didn't sound like banana. It sounded like something, though. Yeah, maybe something. Maybe. Um, what I'm wondering, though, is I haven't had you with me the past few videos, so I haven't been able to use the Estes connection. <laughs> so I'm thinking what we need to do is go to the cell where the man supposedly hanged himself and yeah. see if we can connect there and see what we can gather if any information is available about what happened mm -hmm. um, or if there's something else in there that would like to speak hopefully they can speak to us as well but let's grab our other camera and then we'll set up for Estes okay all right peeps so we're gonna put Savannah I in the uh, jail cells on the second floor this is where the man supposedly hanged himself so we have her Estes cam set up there. She's gonna go under, we're gonna get her SB11 rolling, and then I'm gonna step out of the room. So remember, if you're new here, Estes, you're using a spirit box to try and communicate, but the person that's answering the questions doesn't know what you're asking, so if you Liberty. get things that line up, then that could be a sign that you're talking to something intelligently. All right. Work. 
I'm calling upon for the man that lost his life in these cells. Can you tell me your name? My it's Tim. Tim? Tim, I don't mean to get personal, but I'm curious. Yes. Your name's Tim, okay. Tim. Mike. Who's Mike? Died. Mike died where? One. Cell one? Did someone kill him or did he take his own life? Stranger. A stranger killed him, or are you talking about me being a stranger? Stop. Do you want me to stop asking questions? Did someone murder you? Okay, I won't ask you any more questions about that. I don't mean to cause you any discomfort. Is there a demon or an evil entity here? You're wrong. I'm wrong about what? Who is Macho Man? Can you tell me who Macho Man is? I've heard that he scratched people here. You don't know. You don't know or me. I don't you don't I don't know you? Am I speaking with Macho Man? Am I speaking to Macho Man right now? What did you tell me upstairs? You spoke to me very clearly the last time I was here. What did you tell me? Do I get it? Do you get what? Ow. Is there something trapping you here? Yes. What is trapping you here? If you can tell me what's trapping you here, maybe I can help you. Dang it. What year is it for you? Myers. Is that your last name? Yes. What's your first name? Why are you saying, oh no? What's trapping you here? Are you trapped to some, an item? Or to the building itself? He was a kid. Who was a kid? It seems like something's trying to come through, but it's not super, super clear. We've had really good responses match up, but they're not giving us that vital information that we want. They said there's something trapping them here. What could be trapping them here? Did someone do something here to trap you here? Did you lose your life in this building? Is there anyone attached to this Ouija board in here? 
Is there anyone attached to the Ouija board? Can you see me right now in this building? Or can you only hear me? Can you see me or only hear me? Seems like it's gone quiet. Yeah, it kind of went quiet on us. It was a man the whole time. Was it the same voice? It sounded like it. Something was trying to speak. Um, we had a few answers line up, but yeah. nothing, we, we couldn't get any information. They said there was something trapping them here. Well, I heard um, he was a kid or, I don't know, something like that. But it was definitely the same person the whole time, just not really much came through, so. Well, you said dang it, and then it kind of stopped. So I'm wondering if there was something here that came through. And you'll see in, in, in there, at one point I like jump. I feel like something kind of brushed their finger across my face, but then I thought maybe it could be a bug, but and you can see me jump because it felt like a finger. It did not feel like a bug, so I don't know. Okay, well. Um, and I didn't like being in here alone. Like, you know, you get the feeling someone's watching you, and I know that you walked, like, away, and it felt like somebody was just looking at me. Okay. We're gonna turn off our Estes cam for now. Like and then let's just do like a, an EVP in here. Okay. Kwani, you'd basically be sitting on the floor if you had to sit on that. That's made for like a child. It's jail. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Is there anyone in this cell with us right now? Did you touch my face? Were you killed in this cell? If Macho Man can hear me, can you make a loud noise? I didn't get much. Did you hear like a whisper? Mm -mm. I thought I kind of heard something faint. Yes, I did. Kind of sounds like either yes or yes, I did. Oh, it literally said it touched your face. Oh my god. That's gosh. freaking crazy. Okay, now when you, yeah, like I said, you'll see me jump and I feel my face. Okay, let's grab some more equipment and spend a little bit more time in here since we just caught a little bit of something. Yeah. And we'll see if they can interact with any of our equipment. Okay, so we have out our mag light, our piccolo, and our K2 in this cell, and then we have an EMF spike in the other cell. And then, I'm not a big app guy, you guys know that about me, but I did wanna try this one out. It's a newer one, and I wanna see what kind of results we can get. I do have Bluetooth off. Oh, that just went off. Spike just went off. Over there. Okay. Yeah. I have Bluetooth, cellular network, and airplane mode, or cellular network off, airplane mode on. Okay. Is there anybody that would like to communicate? We got the names Mike and Tim. So Tim. My name is Kalani. I'm Savannah. 
And we're just here to introduce ourselves. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. But you can use any of these devices that we have out to try and manifest to us. Oh. There we go. That went off again. Did we get, uh, we got the name Myers. I don't know if that's a first name. I think it was a last, last name. name. Is there anybody here with the last name Myers? Did you take your own life in this cell? Or did someone murder you? Wallet. 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 I don't know how that would apply. I don't either. Was it over money or did they take your wallet? I know we're just strangers, but I want to understand where I can help you or if I can help you or, or tell the accurate story because people think that you hanged yourself and if that's the case I'm so sorry but I want to make sure that the truth is out there and I also want to ask you if in your realm if there is this dark demon like entity named Macho Man in this building that you could tell us about. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Warning. 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 What are you warning us about? It's kind of creepy. Right when I mentioned Macho Man, we Ooh. literally get something saying warning. warning. That is true, yeah. So this is using the magnometer inside of the phone. Now, my only issue with apps in general is it's like, how do you take magnometer reading and equate that to a particular word coming out? Um, which you could say that for a lot of spirit word bank devices, but I figured we might as well try it out, see what we get. But that's my only issue with a lot of these style devices is how does this reading come out to equal this word? But that is pretty weird. The moment I mentioned demon and macho man, it gives a warning. It gives us warning. Yeah. Well, thank you for the warning, but I don't think there's anything that's going to scare us out of here. You haven't really done anything yet, Macho. Nothingness? Nothing. Nope, there's nothing that's going to scare us out of here. Can you see me? Or can you only hear me? Look at these. They have these weird... Looks like from inmates. That's... What is, oh, that's like a face, kind of? Yeah, it's like a, a face and a body. Yeah. There's like a word, kind of. It's kind of hard to... Oh, wait. Oh, what was that? Maybe oh, we should step in here. Oh, again. Did you want us to step into this room? If you can hear my voice on the count of three, I want you to make a loud, audible noise or make a piece of equipment go off. One, two, three. <gasps> All right. That counts. That was pretty close. Yeah. Are you in the room with us right now? Let me grab my key too. Okay. The feeling in the cells are kind of weird. It's a spooky feeling, like you're being watched. Okay, just do a quick reading in here. Can you come touch this device in my hand? So we're not getting anything right now? Mm -mm. Can you walk into the cell that I'm in, the first cell in this room? Ghost town. Touch someone. Are you saying it's a ghost town in here? This town's kind of a ghost town. Kind of, yes. honest. I do, we don't like to, I don't like to try and link everything that we have come through to something. It just doesn't sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I could probably tell a good story. Yeah. Try and link everything, but I think some of it's probably just random. That's just my honest opinion. I'm still... That one keeps that going on. Really and we don't, I don't have the sensitivity up high on that one. Yeah. Can you touch this device in my hand? No. Not that one. 
It's like it's almost like on the floor. Fail. I just asked it to touch this. It didn't. And then it said fail. Can you try again? Not the device on the floor, the one in his hand. Can you go up to it and touch it? Come touch this device in my hand. It won't hurt you. No. The one above it. Maybe they don't want to touch it because it's in your hand. There's nowhere to set it though. <laughs> it's gotta be like the perfect balance. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. All right, can you touch the device on the wall? You go up to it and touch it, we'll be able to see that you're in here with us. Okay, let's step back from it, maybe. Maybe you're intimidating. Maybe. Okay. Can you come up to this device in my hand and speak? It just said it was hiding. I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let's just ask you a question. Let me listen back really quick. That's really weird because we're asking it to come forward and we're like, why are you not coming forward? And it said hiding. I'm hiding, yeah. That. You know what? The voice on that thing makes it. Okay, nice. hang on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Are you hiding from me or from Macho Man? Are you hiding from me or Macho Man? I thought I heard something out here. What was that? What did that just say? Man. Man, Macho Man! The light's on! The flashlight's on! Is it really? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I got chills. It just turned off. I got chills all over. It just turned Can you turn that back on if you're hiding from Macho Man? Turn that flashlight back on for us if that's who you're hiding from. So literally, that says man. This is going off. I wonder if we caught anything on here. That's a really weird sequence. So whatever this demon is, is literally scaring the other entities in this place, it seems. Like they, he doesn't want them to talk. Well, and it seems like they're hiding from him. Yeah. The moment we stepped out of the room, this went off though. So maybe they want space? Yeah, could be. I can't believe this freaking says man. And I was just asking about Macho Man. Yeah, me or Macho Man. Huh. I still don't know what that was that we heard. I thought out I here. heard something out here. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Macho man. Come do your worst. I don't think you're very powerful. I feel like something in here is just like staring at you. Yeah, it's really off right now. It's what did that say? The energy in here is really off right now. It literally feels like there's something standing, watching you from afar. Yeah, that's what I felt in that cell, like some, like just eyes on me. This said something. Let's see what it said. Listen. Wait. So we were trying to listen. Okay, let's just stand really still. Okay. And maybe they want the... Okay, we're listening. We're not gonna ask you any questions.
What? They know who you are. And did you? It literally just said it knows who I am. And did you hear that that voice with your ears too when you started that? Over there. Yeah. Let's see. That's that. Hang on. Didn't pick it up. That is freaking weird. Okay, weird. macho man, come do something, baby. Quit playing games. Come scream into this device. Stop being a bitch. I don't normally like to talk to spirits that way, but this is one that's attacked people and he seems to respect. God. God, he's left a mark on people. He seems to respond more to negativity and kind of that. And like a male authority challenging him. Yeah. Almost. So I normally don't like to talk to entities. Like I wouldn't talk to like a little kid like that. But when you're dealing with something that people call a literal demon, Charlotte. Huh. Here we go. What was he screamed before I even asked for him to. Listen. What the heck? One more. That's freaky. That is really It weird. literally screamed before I asked it. That to. is really weird. Okay, let's step out here. That is so because I don't like that. That gives me like goosebumps. Okay, let's do one more out here. I don't mean to do so many EVPs, but we're starting to get response with it, so I don't want to like jump away from it. Where you at, bitch? Daddy's home. Bet you can't do nothing to me. What did that say? Disagree? See you disagree? Wait, I just said I just said you can't do nothing to me. Disagree. And it says it disagrees. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, fifteen means. That was that. Mm, nothing. Okay, so I feel like Macho Man might start becoming through. Um, and where I had the best connectivity with speaking with him was on the third floor. So let's take the equipment, focus on the third floor and see if we can make contact with Macho Man because it seems like whatever else is in this building is literally hiding from him. The bat? The bat? Yeah. Got really close to you. It hit you earlier. Yeah, you ran into me earlier. They don't normally run into you. I think he wanted to. Ah, uh, he was out for... No, he just came down the stairs. Mm -hmm. They're cute, but they kind of freak me out. It's like a mix. Cute, but freaky? Cute, but scary. What are you doing? Oh, the stairs kind of 
Show this. I want to know who's getting on these ladders. Okay. I guess. Oh, ow. I hit my head on that freaking pipe. Would be the first time. Oh, man. That's what she said. Okay. It's live. Live. I'm gonna put it right here. Adult? Say adult or a tone? Adult. Are you an adult? My foot just hit. Oh. Okay, we got the flex I was treated. What? I was treated well. Were you an inmate? Were you an inmate here? <clears throat> it's going off on both sides. What the heck? I've never had it do that. Can it you step away? It hasn't gone off all night. Can you step away from that device, please? What the heck? Now it's back. Step away on both sides. That is weird. Let me, let me see something real quick. I wonder if it was me sitting down. You think? I don't think so, but... I'm beside you. I'm beside oh, you. What the heck? That is so bizarre. What? I'm beside you? Literally just said I'm beside you. So it's weird because the last time we were here This is where all the activity came for me. Yeah, okay, it's calibrated. Okay <coughs> No, you just sat down All right, so that wasn't you they're beside us though That doesn't pick up vibration, but I didn't know if Maybe it could have while I'm setting stuff up. Let's try not to talk a bunch Macho man. Can you come to this board again and speak to me like you did before? Walking. walking. All right, can you walk by the door? So do you think he just hangs up here? I don't know why. The past few times I've been here though, this is where we've had the most activity with him. Okay, will you set up? These cat balls. Mm hmm Where are you going to put them? Uh, I don't know where you think it might be good. Maybe by the door. I don't want to walk in front of this and mess it up, though. No, I should, uh, should be fine. Alright, 
I've got one right there and then one by the door. You said where? Where? There's a ball kind of in front of me and then by the door that you can touch and when you do it'll light up. I have a mag light on the Ouija, Ouija board. board. Trying to find my RAM pod antenna. You put it in there. Yeah, this cord is now wrapped in there we go. keys. Nineteen nineties. When was this a uh, jail? Uh, I know before then. I don't know if it was a jail then. Is, were you in jail here then? Macho man, can you come forward and talk to us? Put out the rim pod. <laughs> Heard you're pretty strong, but you haven't really shown us much. Macho man, I want you to make something physically move if possible. I want to see how strong you are. I'll put the pickle over here. Okay, if I heard that going off, that's freaking me out. I heard it go off and ran off, and I was freaking out. Did you? Tell people my story. <gasps> Ooh. Earlier you were saying I, I want to tell, people, to tell your yeah, story. Okay. How can I tell people your story? Were, were you, you ever once a human you? macho man? So I'm trying to see if I can see anything around. Stop moving. Are you a demon now? Can you show yourself to me, please? Can you walk through that door? On the count of three, if you're a demon, the whole thing just went up. If you're a demon, make that device go off on the count of three. One. The bench! How the fuck does it know there's a bench there's here? A bench right there. Are you on the bench? It just looked like there was a really cold signature on the top of the rim pod. Can you grab that device? That just said yes. I'm cutting the recording. How the fuck did that know there's a bench there? We have not I literally asked it. if he was a demon and he made the <gasps> Touch it with your what hands. Can you touch heck? the top of it? Let's play it back. <gasps> Holy shit. I've got chills. Yeah, that was Look at my going crazy. I've got, I've got goosebumps. It is going nuts. Accident. Oh my gosh. I'm Were so you a part of an accident? Let me pull this back. I'm so freaked out. How can I tell people your story? Are you ever once a human macho man? Are you a demon now? On the count of three, if you're a demon, the whole thing's going on. If you're a demon, make that device go off on the count of three. One. The bench! How the fuck does it know there's a bench here? Right there. Are you on the bench? Maybe should be it. Okay, let's, maybe we should go to the bench. That is just really weird. You have goosebumps? 
That was weird. All right, Macho Man, come forward and scream into this device on my hand. I'm currently at the bench. Where is the rumored demon of this jail? I want you to come forward and show us how strong you are. Do you like hurting people? Can you come scratch me? What the fuck? What? It's going freaking nuts. What? Look, my hands are here. We got the wide angle over there. I'll show you. My hands are we're here. Not, we're not Other pushing any buttons. Out. We ain't got no walkie talkies, no key fobs. What the heck? And there is no. Right when I mentioned I wanted to get scratched, I want to feel the demonic. What is that? I want to feel the demonic presence in here, baby! Let's listen back. Alright, Macho Man, come forward and scream this device in my hand. I'm currently at the bench. Where is the rumor demon of this jail? I want you to come forward and show us how strong you are. Do you like hurting people? Can you come scratch me? I didn't hear anything. That was very weird. Uh, went off again. Okay, what I want to do really quick is switch to the FLIR camera mm -hmm. and see if we can pick anything up on the FLIR. Okay. And then we'll see what we want to do from there. Wait, what was that? I heard a step over there. You heard that too? I heard that. Yeah, let me, uh, let's grab that. That might have been you? Maybe me. Could have been vibration. I don't know why it's... I mean, it takes us moving. Like, that's me. Yeah, come off the stage real quick. But, I mean, neither of us were moving when it went off. No. Do you want me to cut this till you get the flare set up? Um... You can let it run. Can you help? I want to help. Okay. So if you're not familiar with the FLIR, it's a thermal imaging camera and it'll give us heat and cold signatures. So if we pick up anything, um, a lot of people will catch apparitions that show up in colder temps. Uh, people catch handprints, shadow figures. Um, that's usually probably the most common way that people have things show up on the floor. But it's a nice way to pick up on stuff in the room. Stuff in the room. I think you should switch this light back to normal so we can see the FLIR camera better because this really does make everything red. Well, I can pull the audio or the feed straight from it. Okay. So we'll let you run yours. Leave that camera on. Mm -hmm. I'll use the FLIR. So this is the FLIR 1 Pro. Um, it's better than just the FLIR 1, but this is a nice little addition to the gear kit. Huge thanks to MBM and Donna D for helping us out with this. But guys, quick plug, 
If you miss any of my TikTok live streams, so if you miss the Monroe Demon House live where we had some insane activity, you can rewatch that on my Patreon. $3 a month gets you entered and we got a ton of other perks in there. So in the description below, join Patreon if you wanna help us out getting more gear, going to more places, as well as getting some extra content. Also, we've got a Discord, Snapchat, Twitter. We got all the social media, so go grab me on everything. Help me out on Facebook. If you got a Facebook, follow us on Facebook. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. But let's get back into this investigation. Okay. So what's cool is I can record. Oh, that's cool. You can record what you're seeing. Yeah. Interesting. So I'm trying to see if I can see anything. Is Around. that us setting it off? Stop moving. Nope. Can you show yourself to me, please? Can you walk through that door? I want to see if we can see anything touching this. It just looked like there was a really cold signature on the top of the rim pod. Did it really? Can you grab that device? Touch it with your hands. Can you touch the top of it? Yeah, that was really weird. Let me uh, let me rewind that. Okay. Word. So look at this. I want to see if we can see anything touching this. Watch. Look at that. Ooh, it turns blue. Yeah, I saw that. So something very yeah. cold. Touch the top of it. Touch the top of it right there. I see that. Interesting. That's really cool. Huh. That's nuts. Okay. Can you touch it again, please? Oh! It's lit up blue. Is it really? The top of it is lit up blue. Look, it's the only thing that's blue. Oh Thank you. That's crazy. It's like a full six degrees Celsius colder. What the heck? Thank you for that. Can you step away from it now? Can you step away? Oh. Did it go away? Kind of, but not really. Weird. Now it's back. And we are not moving at all. Let go of that, please. Is your phone setting it off? Uh-uh. No? No, this is an airplane. Oh, yeah. Duh. <gasps> what the hell is that? Something was literally touching it, and that I could see it on the nuts. thermal. That is so cool. Like, that's what my hand looks like. I can't believe it was picking up a... That is really cool. That's crazy. And it was like a, a little, like, circular dot on top. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Can you show yourself in the stairwell? That was really cool. That's the first thing we've ever caught. We literally caught like a like a blue orb touching the top of the rim pod and it had it. What was that? What just beeped? Oh, the flux. Oh. That just went off. And I threw part of that. On the floor. <laughs> Oops. I was like, what is that? Okay. 
So the flux just went off. Yeah. Ooh, I got chills up here. Should should we go to the basement or should we just stay up here? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I want to try the basement. But maybe let's do a let's do an Estes up here. I knew you were gonna say that. I've never had you here to do Estes. <laughs> Let me turn the spirit talker back on. Okay. Um, but wow, just the, the difference from going from Lester James' room to cell area, it started to pick up a little bit. To here. And then freaking up here, it has gone absolutely crazy. Yeah. Which, again, this is where I, I had contact with Macho Man my first time here. Yeah. So he must like hanging out up here. That's the hardest case to get on and off. I actually put it on silent too. Okay. Will you set that back over there for me? We can't have an Estes cam because nothing's tall enough. No, we'll leave that one right over there. Okay, do you want to go stand in the front left corner? Natalie. Okay, we are about to send Savannah under for Estes up here in Macho Man's lair, as we call it. So, this is where we got F-U-P-U-S-S-Y, first time I ever came here. So we're gonna put Savannah under for Estes and see if we can make any kind of connection there. But guys, what's really weird about places like this, especially when there's a known dominant entity that people presume to be something darker, is once it starts coming out, everything else will like hide away. So is it because other entities are scared? Okay, I'll investigate. Bitch. Bitch. Hey. Batman. You're a bitch, macho man. Why don't you come show yourself to me? Or make one of these pieces of equipment go off? I think it's just my nerves, but I feel like something's looking at me in this room. Weird. Why don't you turn that way? Huh? Turn that way. Turn that way? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to leave this sitting, so I don't have to hold it. I just told her to turn towards what made her uncomfortable. All right, macho man, why are you such a bitch? Were you ever human? There's voices coming through, but I can't really make anything out clearly. It's a lot of talking. Were you ever human? Squash people. You want to squash people? <laughs> Why do you want to squash people? Can you make a loud noise up here for us? Macho man, were you ever a judge or a city official? I like to talk. You like to talk? 
says Spirit Talker. Goodbye. Who's saying goodbye? I'm not done speaking with you. What do you want to talk about? Number? Number what? Do you remember me from the last time I was here? Lost me? We know you. We know you! I asked if it remembered me from the last time and it said we know you. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Leave. Why do you want me to leave? Yes. Give me one good reason why. It's James. James, do you do you go by Macho Man? No. Do you know who Macho Man is? I want Macho Man to come forward. Stop playing games, Macho Man. If you're a demon, make something happen. I want to feel the vibrations. Wise ass. Hey, I'd rather be a wise ass than a dumb ass. Are you a wise ass or a dumb ass? You love talking. You gotta be a politician if you love talking. Do you know about the fire that occurred here? Do we need to talk to anyone in the basement? Are you saying a dispute happened in the basement? Did any police officers kill a man? Did they kill a man? Uh, it just said, um. Be honest with me. Did police officers kill a man? Amazed. Are you amazed that I knew about that? Should we go talk to the man that was killed in the basement? Okay. I think we're going to go down to the basement. I'm going to pull Savannah out really quick. And then we're going to go down. Hey, I think we're going to go down to the basement. That's bright. Okay, so we were trying to do our last session here in the basement. There we do have a bat friend. Who has got other plans. Who is <laughs> flying like crazy, like a bat out of hell. This bat seems like he can't... Um, he's already ran into me once tonight. He's so. not dodging as good as most bats do. If you see like a shadow moving or we hear something... It's the bat. It's probably the bat. But we're going to do a quick... Uh, DR60 session here, see if we can talk to the man that people believe to have been killed down here by two officers. Can the man that was rumored to be killed down here come forward and say hello? Were you killed by two officers? Can you tell us your name?
That was a weird noise. Yeah, there's like a knock in there. No. There's something there, but I have no it's idea what it says. This is bad. This bad is cutting it close. <laughs> let's let's put out spirit dogger. Okay. Or let's try necro again. Necrometer. Okay. See what it says. See what it says. It would be cool if it picked up on something of a man being beaten. Okay, you know? so I don't know if you can use this. To, uh, that's me. What do you want us to delete? Can you come talk to this device? Whoever's in here? Do you know who Macho Man is? It went right in front of our camera. <laughs> that bat is hauling ass. <laughs> The number One more time. I can't hear anything clearly. It's like they're afraid to say something. It seems like it's gotten a lot quieter in the building. Yeah. Like it's, the energy it's kind changed. Of started really low, Went shot high. up, and then now it's coming back down again. It's really weird how that's like the consistent cyclical nature of places is it's like seems to start off slow at times ramps up ramps up and they don't give you that long mm -mm. honestly is that like an agreement maybe i don't know kind of weird can you step away and Kwani's phone's still in airplane mode so it's not here back up for what not his phone setting it off what well, it would be setting it off Consistently, so yeah. yeah. Wait and see. Wait and see. Are you trying to build up energy? If you need to use energy from any of these devices, feel free to. If you'd like to do something crazy for us, throw something. Throw me. That'd be allowed. We don't have much longer here. I'm not going to ask you any questions, but come talk to this device. I'll put it right here on the safe and uh, say whatever you want. Set.
What the hell was that? I don't know. It said dance, so I was like, alright. I don't know what that was. What did that just say? It is picking up something. What? You know what it sounds like? I'm gonna pee my pants. It sounds like the same thing it said to me the last time I was here. What? F-U-P-U-S-S-Y. But it's not nearly as loud as it was, but it's the same tone, I'll same tell you, cadence. I'll tell you what I heard before it says that is you know me. Listen to it again and see if you hear you know me, okay, F-U. One ghost detected. Is this Macho Man? I don't know. Oh shit! Back up, back up, back up. Right when you say that. Macho Man! Hang on. Okay, listen to it again. Weird. Hang on. Right there. It's the same F U P U S S Y. It just didn't say it as loud. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Let's try this again. All right, Macho Man. I, I think that's you. Go talk to that device again and give me your famous line that you've already given me once. If you know who I am, speak into that device. What did you tell me last time? I'm cutting it. It says, I'm not friendly. Oh. Look at that. I'm not friendly. My God. What are the odds? And he's not friendly. I think this is Macho Man. Macho, Macho Man. Da, 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 da. All right. Macho Man. Would you like to hurt me? Are you going to follow me home? Shit! Would you like to hear you're gonna follow me home? Right. Yo. I'm done. I'm scared. Oh. Protect. Maybe that's somebody else coming through saying they'll try to protect us. Is there somebody else that's trying to protect us? Or are you saying I'm... Five o'clock. Are you saying... Haunt house. Haunt house. Do you want to haunt our house? 
I'm ready to skedaddle out of here after that. Um. Uh. Well, I guess we're gonna have to keep an eye on the homestead. <laughs> Are you saying I'm protected or I need to protect my house? Let me ask this. Do we need to protect ourselves from you? There's something, but I, I can't, do not know not what clear. it said. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. I want to kind of leave now, seeing <laughs> as uh, it says it's going to follow us home. What has transpired? Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know what? Shit, we're asking for it. Oddly enough, we don't have stuff that happens at our house. Not really, no. Uh-uh. Nor do we ever investigate our home, though. No, but like we don't have noises or like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Can you say goodbye? Can you tell us goodbye into this device in my hand? The damn bat. He's back. <laughs> With a vengeance. Yeah. Okay. That was the phone. Nah. I didn't think they would say goodbye, but with that being said, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode right here. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Share this out with a friend or two, and we'll see you guys next Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know we're posting this video on Tuesday. We had a little bit of a complication. We got a lot going on, family life stuff. So thank you guys so much for understanding. Your views on this help out a ton, especially not being our normal posting time. Make sure you check out the merch. We've got some new merch. We're going to have some more coming out very soon. And make sure you guys comment below Old City Jail Demon to be entered in. We're going to pick a couple winners for some merchandise giveaways here in a couple days after the premiere. But guys, thank you so much for being here. Your, your subscriptions, your memberships, your donations... All is super appreciated. It helps keep the bus rolling. Now, talking about this location really quick. we It started off slow. Lester James' room, we didn't really get much. We moved to the cell area all of a sudden. We do Estes. A few things start matching up. Equipment starts going off. But the moment we go up to the third floor, that basement area, stuff went crazy. So let me know your favorite part of this video. Comment below what you enjoyed, what you thought. If you caught something that we didn't catch, make sure you put that down below with a timestamp. And we will see you guys next week. But I'm Kalani. I'm Sav. <laughs> and hopefully nothing follows us home.